Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little video demo of my juicer. Um, this is an Omega 8006 juicer and I like to uh, fast a lot and so um, no not everybody likes to fast but I actually do and so one of the fasts that I really enjoy is a juice fast and um, fasting is actually not just for spiritual purposes. Um, fasting is actually really good for your body because when you go on fasts your body gets a break from digestion and it gives you a chance to kind of heal and detox and get all of the chemicals and uh, stored away bad fat cells out and different things like that. Um, so, but this is the juicer that I use. This juicer is around $300 if you buy it new. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to spend $300 on a juicer. There are a lot of different juicers out there. Um, there this one is actually what they call a, a masticating juicer. Um, it has a single auger. Some uh, masticating juicers have dual augers or uh, and some of them are actually vertical. This one is a, a horizontal auger. Um, I like this particular juicer the best because it does leafy greens really well and um, it actually has a part that just kind of mashes the uh, the vegetable instead of uh, like a centrifugal juicer it'll actually uh, has blades that spin and it just kind of like dices the thing up and just kind of shreds it and then the juice comes out and it's like ejected out of the machine this one actually just does what is called masticating and it squeezes and crushes the juice out which actually gives you better juice and the juice will actually contain more nutrients and things like that um, when I'm on a juice fast I'll usually tend to juice either two or three times a day just depending on how I feel um, what I'm going to juice now is a mixture of, I have a few tomatoes, it was just like a, a little bit of aroma tomato, I don't know if you can see that, let me see here. Uh, then I have some cucumbers and some baby carrots, I like to use the baby carrots in this juicer better because they fit in the tube easier. Um, one of the drawbacks to this machine is that it has a small chamber where you enter uh, the vegetables right here and so you do have to do some chopping and things like that with this one but I don't mind that uh, that's not really a problem to me some of the centrifugal juicers actually are set up so that they have a much bigger opening where you enter and you can actually put whole apples and different things like that in a lot of the juicers um, and I do juice a lot of different things this isn't something that I typically juice I'm just d using this for the demonstration I normally will juice like collard greens and um, uh, you know more lettuce uh, different things like that as well as apples and um, even some other fruits like strawberries and um, different things just depending on what kind of mood I'm in what I feel like drinking um, I like green juice a lot it's really healthy it's got a lot of chlorophyll in it so I try to stick with more leafy vegetables when I can but I also uh, really enjoy a variety and I'll even juice beets uh, beets and cabbage are both very good for detoxifying your system. Um, I use those a lot. Uh, I mix it up, you know, and just have fun with it. So anyway, I'm going to turn this on and I'm just going to let you see how the machine works. Um, I do have a little bit of lettuce here that, uh, some romaine lettuce, I'm going to juice a little bit of that as well so you can see the uh, power of the machine. This would work a lot better if I had some real whole leaf lettuce instead of what's in the bag. But as I said, I just wanted to kind of show you that it works. And as you can see, it's it's juicing it. I mean, there's definitely juice coming out. That's one of the main reasons I like this because with a Champion or with some of the other uh, models that are out there, um, with blades, you're not going to get as much juice out of a leafy green. It's just going to make a mess. It's going to be a lot harder to deal with. And with this juicer, it, it does leafy greens very well. It just, uh, this is one of the best juicers for doing leafy greens. This uh, juicer also does celery very well. And my champion, I always had a really hard time doing celery with it. 
I'm going to make another video later today about fasting. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about it and just my journey with fasting. Um, it's definitely been an enjoyable journey for me now that, especially now that I've learned some of the pitfalls and some of the things that I was doing wrong. Uh, but you know, just like with anything, you kind of start somewhere and you learn as you go, and that's kind of what I've done over the last four years. Um, during my journey with fasting. Okay, so that's all the lettuce there. I'm going to start putting through the uh, cucumbers. I mean the carrots. <laughs> and as you can see, it doesn't have any problem with them. It just breaks them on down. This, this juicer is a little bit slower than a centrifugal juicer. There goes a tomato. Um, I don't recommend a lot of tomatoes when you're fasting because they're really acidy and they can upset your stomach a lot too. Fasting can be a very enjoyable experience. In fact, uh, for the most part, it should be an enjoyable experience. If you're not enjoying it, you're probably not doing it right. Um, now, there will always be some discomfort. Um, there will be some headaches and you know things like that, especially the first few days um, as you get going in a fast because your body is detoxing. And so, especially if you drink caffeine like I do, um, you will definitely experience some headaches and things of that nature the first few days. Um, but you know, it's really, it doesn't have to be, uh, an unenjoyable experience. The truth is if you're, if you're really spending a lot of time in prayer while you're fasting, you will find that you will have some enjoyable experiences, uh, from the spirit. And it's actually some of the best experiences I've ever had, uh, with God were while I was on fast. Uh, one of them was just a three day fast and it was my very first three day fast and I had a very uh, amazing experience with God just where his his presence came so strong into the room where I was and um, I just <laughs> was really overwhelmed and um, it was definitely worth the uh, sacrifice that I made to get in that place. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, for me, you know, fasting is an enjoyable experience. I definitely wouldn't try to force yourself into it. Um, if you do it right, it should be a pleasurable experience. It's not like it's always pleasurable. You will go through some difficult times while you're on a fast because it's really kind of about, you know, dying to your desires uh, and allowing your spirit man to get strengthened. And so um, there are some times where you'll go through some difficult parts, but overall it should be an enjoyable experience. Particularly if you're experiencing God while you're on the fast, you should be enjoying yourself, especially enjoying Him. Alrighty, and so we're finished with all of that, and I'm going to use the screen to get the junk out of there, and pour this up into a glass. That's good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and this juicer is also very easy to clean. Um, I'll show you in just a second how that works. Basically, it just has these few parts here. You take those off. Um, I usually will, you know, try to empty out as much of the pulp into the pulp container as I can as I take it apart. Um, it's really very simple to do. Just get these few things out of here and then I'll go ahead and put that in the sink and let it be soaking. And this is probably the easiest juicer to clean. All it is is just that auger uh, and then this little part right here comes apart. 
and by the time you rinse this off a couple of times and you can with this one you can actually put these in the dishwasher on the top shelf they are dishwasher safe and then you can take the pulp and use it in a compost or throw it away feed it to your dogs uh, dehydrate it make crackers out of it whatever you want to do uh, or I usually just throw it away <laughs> so uh, all right well thank you very much for watching and uh, that's been my little demo on juicing so hope you enjoy thanks a lot